Hi, I'm Donald Osborne, and welcome to the Audrain Museum Network. Now, there's nothing subtle about a big pink 1956 Lincoln. There's also nothing subtle about this appeal. Our loyal viewers have often commented, why doesn't this channel have a million subscribers? Well, it can. Thanks to you. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe now. Also, click that bell icon so you'll be notified of the great new content that we put up every week. Do it today. When one thinks of a land yacht, there are few more appropriate than this 1957 Lincoln Premier. This vast automobile is fast and powerful, comfortable, everything you expect in a true land yacht. This is also a wonderful case of a dream car brought to the street. Those of you who have watched the uh, 1960s TV series Batman know, of course, the iconic George Barris Batmobile which was a slight restyling of an original 1955 show car, the Lincoln Futura. All of the basic design cues of the Lincoln Futura can be seen here in the Premier. This wonderful fin, this great air intake, that wonderful sleek front end with the pointed fenders. It's all here. And this particular example, which was donated to the Audrain Automobile Museum by a very loyal supporter, uh, Stephen Sider, really showcases what this car is all about, especially in this wonderful exuberant color of Bermuda coral with a white top. These Lincolns were very much of the land yacht, very comfortable, luxurious cars, but beneath this wonderful exterior beats the heart of a champion. Many people don't remember that Lincoln absolutely conquered the Carrera Panamericana race in the early 1950s with a powerful Lincoln Capri V8. That same 368 horsepower engine beats in the heart of this car and for 1957 put out 300 horsepower. This car can really move. In fact, I drove this car not long ago in an Audrain Motorsport Rally, and if you haven't seen that video, you can see it here on our channel. This is a car that delivers a level of performance that drivers today would find hard to imagine. You think of cars today, performance cars, as being very light, nimble, small wheelbase, very sort of handy. This is the car that delivers its power to the road effortlessly in a different manner. Think about sailing a boat. These are land yachts. You see the turn coming up ahead. You don't wait to see the apex. You imagine where the apex is, start to turn the wheel, and by the time you turn the wheel and the, and the steering reacts, you're there, and the car just sits and does it. It's an amazing thing to watch and amazing thing to experience. This car also, to me, represents a certain kind of American style that I think was actually at its height in the 1950s. This is a car, if you see in a European movie, big shots in European movies, French, Italian, British movies, almost always drove American cars. It showed that they were people who had really arrived. They had Hollywood style. And that's what this car is all about. Every time you arrive someplace, it's a premiere, literally. This is a car that also showed that Lincoln was looking to find a different way forward than its competitor Cadillac. Something that combines performance with immense style. And I think in 1957, comparing a Cadillac to a Lincoln, the Lincoln has presence to spare. The Cadillac is almost apologizing for what it is at this period. Now, of course, Cadillac would turn the table with the 1958 and certainly the 1959. And Lincoln would find a new way forward with the revolutionary 1961 Lincoln Continental. But that's another story for another time. For now, take in all that this Lincoln Premier has to offer, the true style, performance, and presence of the 1950s, a true land yacht. Here in our exhibition, Land Yachts, Cruising the Interstate Highways. This is a great cruiser and I could get in this car and drive across country tomorrow.